Okay, now let's see the summary of the story. New York has been home to the Statue of Liberty. In 1871, French sculptor ha called Frederick Bart Bartholdi came to the United States. Okay, so a person, a sculptor, came from France. Okay, so he's a friend, he's a French. This is sculptor, who is the sculptor? The sculptor is the person who sculpt. Sculpt means ha, to do or the one who create 3D artworks, okay? It's not painting, it's modeling. For example, they model with the clay. Um, can, do you know? Ha, do you understand the word? Sculptor. Sculptor is the person who sculpt. If you don't know the meaning of the word, just go to the dictionary and, um, and check it. Okay, so this person came from France. Came where? To the United States. He wanted to build a statue as a gift to the people of the United States. It would be from the, the people uh, of France. The two countries had been friends for a long time. Okay, now let's see the words. Words to know. We have the word crown, liberty, models, symbol, tablet, torch, unforgettable, and we have unveiled. So the first word is symbol, tablet, torch, unforgettable, and we have unveiled. So this is the first word, un, unveiled. Unveiled contains the from the prefix un and the where the word veiled. So unveiled means uncovered. Unveiled means uncovered. It's a verb. So can you see? We unveiled the plate and we see what the fish. We unveiled the cover. We see, for example, a surprise, a gift. Here, for example, we have a sentence here. They pulled the clothes off. And as the statue was, was unveiled, we clapped. So can you see here? Unforgettable, it's adjective. It's, it means like it's so good or wonderful that you cannot forget it. Okay, you can see the, the one. He has unforgettable moment with his dog. Unforgettable, um, unforgettable person. Here, the fireworks that lit up the sky were an unforgettable what sight? Unforgettable sight. Torch. Here we have some pictures of torch. A torch, a torch, a torch. It's a long stick with a material that burns at one end on it. Can you see? It burns. We use it to light something. Here, the guide carried a torch in her hand to light the way. Ta sorry, tablet. It's a flat surface for writing. Tablet. Mm -hmm. Also, the tablet can be can be called for for the device that we use, electronic device. We we play games for as or it can be as a laptop. Here, a poem was curved into the stone tablet, so they can like let the stone flat and let it smooth to be a tablet right so others can come and write on it 
crown. What is a crown? Is a head covering of precious metal uh, worn by a, a royal person, such as a queen or king. Here, crown, crown. The sentence: The queen placed a gold crown on her head. Models, models is a noun. It's a small or they are small copies of something. So we have a big building. If you have a small copy of this building, we call it model. Some model, we have some model cars to play with. Can you see here? Some models for building, some models for, um, for the for the sun and for the solar system here some model for a tower for a mountain the students use used clay to make small models of the real statue statue okay so here do you understand the word models something like small small copy of something Liberty, liberty, liberty means freedom. Here, the liberty. Can you see the bird has his, its liberty? Like when when the bird is inside the cage, he does not have liberty. He does not have a freedom. So when you let the bird out, and it can fly. So here we have the liber the um, the bird ha has liberty. Also, it has another meaning for people, the liberty of people, like to, to let the people do whatever they want, to, to think or to express their opinion. Citizens of a free country have liberty to speak about any topics. So other countries do not have liberty. If they talk or if they ex express their opinion, they will go uh, inside the jail, okay? Here we have symbol. Symbol is also a noun. It's an object or icon that stands for something else. Sometimes we have, we said that a flag is a symbol of what? Of a country. Here, for example, huh, this is a symbol of America, the country of America. Here, that's a symbol of danger, something dangerous. A heart can be a symbol of what? Of love. Here, this dollar is a symbol for money. Here, is this, this kind of bird is a symbol of peace. Peace. Here, the bald eagle is, is a symbol of the United States representing its courage. Okay, so the eagle represents courage. So now let's practice. The queen wore a what on her head? Excellent, a crown. Good job. My little brother likes to put mm, cars together. Excellent, like to put model cars together model cars together so they are small cars small copy of the real car here the artist mm, her newest painting at the art show huh can you see the, the picture excellent it's unveiled unveiled can you see here E and I, we pronounce it as a long A. Unveiled. The Statue of Liberty holds a what in her hand? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good job. Torch. Here, the reporter wrote down the story on the writing what? Here, 
excellent on the writing tablet. Here, our flag, the American flag, stands for what? For liberty, excellent, for freedom, liberty. Here, the party was hmm, something amazing, good enough to not forget it. Unforgettable, yes. Here, what mm, stands for a city on a map key? Yes, excellent. It's what symbol, what symbol. Or, or can we say about the, um, what can we say about the map? It's a symbol for country. It's a symbol for country. Excellent. Here. What symbol can stand? Okay. Now let's see this page. Uh, I describe something here. This, the question is, solve each riddle with a word from the box. Write the word on the line. Number one. I describe something that you will always remember. Always remember. Never forget it. Yes, it's unforgettable. Excellent. Number two, people who live in a, in a free country have me. Huh? What they have in free countries? Excellent, they have liberty. Kings and queens wear me on their heads. Crown, good job. I am another word of the word uncovered. Unveiled, good job. I am a light that helps people to see in dark caves. Yes, it is torch. Excellent. Here, the wood carver made two mm, of an airplane. Made two models. Excellent. At night, we lit the. Sorry, we lit a to help us see our campsite. Hmm. We lit what? That's that's correct. We lit a torch. A flag is what for a country of a country? Is a symbol. Good job. Number nine. Mm, a stone. A what? Is a stone that has writing writing cut into it. Correct tablet. So here's the answers. Here, the vocabulary strategy. We have a prefixes. We, we took some prefixes in spelling, right? So here, what is a prefix? Is a word part added at the beginning. At the beginning of, the, of a base word to change the meaning of that word. So we have sometimes the word happy, unhappy. Um, what else we have? A lot of prefixes we have. Miss, understand, miss, spelled. So the word is spelled. The base word is spelled. And miss is the prefix. The word is happy, the base. We call it the word or the base, happy. And the prefix is un. It changes the, word, the, the meaning of the word. Un is one of the prefixes. It means not or the opposite here uneven means not even unfair means not fair 